Buongiorno. It's Richard and Michael from the company Data Force. After the positive reception of our Geneva Motor Show clips, we've decided to put together some further videos based on our Data Force monthly press releases for the EU5. With a few exclusive insight points only available from the clips. Yeah, that's right. For those who don't know, the new car registration data available to us from the EU5 countries, which is France, Germany, Italy, Spain and the UK, allows us to write monthly press releases, giving insight into just how these individual markets are performing. We split the data into the private, true fleets, short-term rentals and dealerships manufacturers channels, with our main focus being the true fleet channel. Yeah, thanks Brian. So our first month set of insights will complement our Italian press release for February. And we're happy to report that it was a good month for the true fleet market, with 2018 so far shaping up to be another year of growth. Our review of the market sees the total market with a little over 194,000 registrations, but this was down by 1.1% when compared to February of last year. The drop from the private market of 11.1% was the reason for the total market to finish negative, but Truefleet did achieve a 15.4% surplus and its second month of growth in 2018. Top 10 brands performance for the month was positive for all but two manufacturers. The top four keeping their ranking positions from last February. Ford's 9.9% market share was the highest ever achieved by the Blue Oval brand in Italy, while Toyota and Skoda both recorded their highest ever absolute volume. Best growth for the month, however, came from Jeep with an impressive plus 81.1%. With all credit for the upswing going to the Compass model. Long term rental channel is also part of our press release this month. And interestingly, we see some positive numbers for diesel in the channel, which year to date is actually up by 26.3%. Though, in terms of growth, alternative fuels was the clear winner, with a plus 50%. Our first assumption was, given the prevalence for the bivalent fuel gas-powered vehicles in Italy, that this would be the source. However, it turned out to be the sub-channels of hybrid and electric. Right, in hybrid, unsurprisingly, we saw Toyota take the top four, Yaris, CHR, Aris Touring Sport and RAV4. And in full electric, the Smart 4.2 appears to be the model that is charging in more ways than only one. Yeah, nice one, right? In finishing up our insights on the Italian market, it's worth noting that diesel share in the true fleets is the highest of all major markets and most of the smaller ones here in Europe. So while alternative fuels are growing, there's still a little way to go just yet. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon again. Pronto? Pronto? Si, si. Yeah, just, just wait a minute. Hello? Ciao. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Salvatore, are you here? Okay, wait a minute.